Hi, my name is Omar, and I'll be presenting my final project, Learning Enhanced Model Predictive Control for Quadcopters. The objective of this project is to implement a flatness-based model predictive controller that can control a quadcopter and achieve better performance in comparison to the traditional PID controllers. In addition, a secondary objective is to attempt to improve the controller's performance by training a DNN that can be used to adjust the desired trajectory used by the MPC optimization problem. The flatness-based model predictive control architecture utilizes the differential flatness property of quadcopters coupled with speed-forward linearization. As shown on the right, the output YFT is converted to its equivalent flat state Z. Then the MPC optimization problem is solved in the flat space where the system is linear. The resulting uh, flat input and flat state are then used to calculate the optimal commands for the quadcopter. In order to improve performance, a neural network was used to adjust the reference trajectory used by MPC. The neural network takes in as an input a pair of two consecutive states and outputs a set of positions that should be used by MPC to drive the system from the first state to the second. The network is effectively learning the inverse dynamics of the system. To train the network, a reference trajectory is applied to the system and the observed outputs are used as inputs to the DNN. The approach was tested on various minimum snap trajectories in a simulated environment. FMPC has proved to outperform the PD controller, achieving better tracking performance. And when it was coupled with the DNN, the performance was further enhanced, and the DNN has provided stability for very aggressive trajectories, even though uh, FMPC without the DNN for these trajectories has gone unstable. Here are a couple of videos of the implementation of the approach in a gazebo simulated environment for the trajectories shown. To summarize, FMPC has proved to outperform traditional PD controllers, and when it was coupled with the DNN, the performance was further enhanced. And also the DNN has, proved, has provided stability for trajectories that are otherwise unstable. Future work includes further optimizing the DNN architecture, testing it on more diverse environments, also attempting to use the DNN online as part of the control loop rather than offline. Finally, optimizing the code to increase the prediction horizon of, F of FMPC to further enhance the performance. Thank you for listening, and if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me.